Campbell transfer uh, forward uh, post player Jesus Carlar, uh, Carlero. Excuse me. We've been we've been working on his name, trying to get his name right. Carlero uh, from Malaga, Spain. Uh, spent a year at uh, at Link Academy in Branson, Missouri. So he's familiar with Missouri. Jeez. And uh, he spent four years at Campbell. Uh, and wrist injury this past season, and and only played the first five games, and then uh, but he, he looked pretty good in those five games. Uh, made five out of ten three pointers. Uh, true shooting percentage was was rock solid. Um, and then he showed that with a wrist injury. So, um, this is a an interesting addition. Um, definitely, I, I think everybody knows that Dennis Gates has been looking for uh, interior players. And he is an interior player, but uh, he brings a lot of that sort of like Euro big style. He's a good passer, good, you know, sort of playmaker, facilitator, uh, you know, from that sort of interior position. So he's he's got some intrigue to him. He does. I'm, I'm convinced that the staff, after, you know, seeing uh, Mr. Shedrick go off the board, has decided that they're just going to try and spackle together the first player they want from different pieces. And that lead, we you know, we'll get to how that informs the roster construction, deconstruction, lack thereof later on. But, you know, I think if you, you're making the money ball joke. Uh, uh, if, if you don't follow Matt on Twitter, his Twitter handle is right there beneath his name. Go follow him on Twitter. You can see his his link to the Moneyball uh, discussion. But yeah, this is the Moneyball joke. Keep they're spackling <laughs> it together. They're they're putting it together. Um, but on his own, I, I think you know, Carolero is a guy who I think you know is probably the guy who's a, he's the offensive big. He's the guy who you know if you were to look at his tape, look at his numbers and his profile. He's the guy that, you know, Missouri will put in, you know, if it needs kind of that connective piece that it uses at the at the elbow and at the top of the key. He's the guy who can make those passing reads. Um, I haven't gotten to full games. I've managed to be a sicko and somehow track down five full games of them. I'll watch those later. But in cut-ups, you can where'd, see that he Where'd you find those? YouTube, baby. YouTube. Yeah? <laughs> a deep well. Deep, deep well. Some people stu- stumble into misinformation. I stumble into Big South basketball from November 2022. Nice. But there are five full games out there. I'll watch those and get a better sense for how he plays. But in short, little bursts, you can see that he can make good passing reads, makes good passing reads on the backside of help defenders, particularly low help defenders. He's really good sort of reading, you know, 45 angle cuts and when to hit guys there. Um, will play in pick and pops. You know, I would say he's more of a finesse big, even when he posts up, you know, footwork, counters, wants a lot of drop steps, wants to use kind of a rhythm dribble. But he's, you know, a big that I could see Dennis picking after Dennis has watched a lot of Euro League. You know, he fits that sort of mode. Athletically, you know, again, he's more athletic than I am. It's all relative, but compared to what he's going to see in the SEC, there may be a little bit left to be desired there. Um, even on defense, he's more of a positional big playing with verticality. He's not going to destroy you with a first or second jump. But he's good at understanding, I think, at least in the clips I was able to see, of positional rebounding. His rebound rates are solid regardless of you know what level you play at. They're about 17 to 20%. So he can be a connective piece. He can do some things offensively. And I think... Back to my main point, you put him with other pieces on this roster, he can help solve your rebounding problem. He's not going to fix all of it, but he can help solve a portion of it. So if you're looking for a guy, you know, who I think, you know, sitting here in May and we haven't seen this team play, he strikes me as a rotational pickup. But I think you have to understand what that role potentially could be. We'll have to see it on the floor. He hasn't played in a year, but I have to... 36 hours of looking at it and looking at the numbers and whatever tape exists. That's sort of the best assessment I have out of the shoot as to what he offers this team.